everyone hope everything is going well you guys and gals know that drill smash that like button subscribe if you haven't comment down below follow me on instagram at aih underscore sports follow me on my finance channel at aih finance okay uh, before i begin today's video i got this in the mail uh, via ttm i sent this to jim mora uh remember playoffs that guy and um sent him one of his cards he sent it back within a few weeks got that auto i really like it it's gonna be part of my pc so yeah that's what i'm doing now you know getting some autos for my pc some uh, will be uh i'll speculate in right now guarding the video today i want to look at uh ken golden and his documentary I'll tell you what I liked and what I didn't like. It was based on the first episode. The first episode, what I liked was he was talking about Jackie Robinson and uh, the unfortunate experiences that he had to go through. And they're talking about the jersey. I think it was what, the 51 jersey. And they're talking, or 1951, I believe that was the year. And they're talking about, hey, look, there weren't that many of these jerseys out there. Uh, they went to a store in New York and uh, one person consigned it to that store and they said to him or the individual said that hey look this needs to sell for 10 million dollars otherwise i'm not going to be taking it otherwise i'm not going to take the offer i think the guy should have taken the offer uh, but ultimately that uh, was for seven million dollars but it, unfortunately it didn't hit the 10 million dollar reserve but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, that jersey was just a real interesting highlight of what happens behind the scenes when they're trying to negotiate a deal with Golden and they're trying to consign an item through Ken Golden. They're also talking about Beanie Babies. Okay, I thought that was weird, but some buyer wanted to sell his Beanie Babies, right? Some high-end uh, speculator and collector so i found that interesting now the part where i did not like was fleer 86 uh card when they had drake on and they're talking about that and that was the same video uh they had uh card porn in right or the card porn was in that building where they were uh ripping fleer 86 and before they're ripping uh some logo man cards and what i did not like in that video was they had an appraisal value of the FLIR 86 card raw at $350,000. I'm like, wait, wait, what? I understand over a year ago, a PSA 10 appraisal could have fetched that amount when the market was a lot stronger than it is now. But when you are saying an appraisal of a raw card and you're trying to get new people into the hobby, that's a no-no. And someone will, will be like, hey, look, you need to, uh, people need to do their research. Yes, they need to do their research, but if you're trying to get newbies in, you cannot deceive them, in my opinion. And this is what I talk about. You know, when, when I went after Curator, Curator, you know, he was saying that, hey, look, uh, I think this card's $2,000, right? Or it could be a $2,000, but a PSA 9 online sold for what? $26? in, in a, uh, what is it called? At a shop or at a show, it sold a little higher than that. But you're trying to use these valuations that don't make any sense whatsoever. And that's really bad for the hobby, in my opinion. Now, could there have been some items that were cut out saying that, hey, look, only a, a PSA 10 card could fetch that? Now, if that was cut out by Netflix, then yeah, I would understand that. But to simply put a valuation of $350,000, that's not a good look in my opinion. And that needs to be definitely highlighted for future episodes. Maybe they do season two. I would not, if I were them, put a valuation like that. Maybe in a disclaimer, put down in parentheses, if it's a PSA 10. Now, if you get a raw card, 
the probability of it being a 10 is very low. What you have what 320 some PSA 10s out of uh, tens of thousands. I think it was what 20,000 cards graded. Don't quote me on this. I mean, what's the probability of getting that? It's very, very, very low. Okay. So, you know, I just wanted to point that out. And uh, yeah, anyways, uh, what did you think about the documentary? Did you watch all episodes? I'm just on episode one right now. But yeah, I wanted to ask you, was it was this pumping of FLIR 86 on that documentary? Anyways, let me know what you think. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below. Thank you. Bye.